Okay, so today we're going to see if we can figure out what my dog's uh, hierarchy is. So I've got some carrots here, and I've got some apple, and I'm going to first give him some carrots. Crunchy. And I'll give him an apple. And I'm going to take one of each and I'm going to bring them down, separate them, and see which one he went for. He went for the carrot that time. This time I'm going to try blueberries and carrots. Then let him try both and see which one he chooses. Went for the blueberry. Still maybe a little unclear. Let's see. We're gonna try peas. I'll let him smell it. Let him smell the blueberry. I'm gonna choose. He went right for the pea. That's been typical of what I've seen him like. Now, if I take some proteins and compare them to his uh, pea versus, let's try pea versus a chickpea. First, I'll give him the pea. I'll give him the chickpea. Try to use the same hands again. Let him smell both, see which one he chooses. He went for the pea. I'm going to try, just out of curiosity, if I switch them, which one he goes for. He goes for my right hand because I've done so much treating, reinforcement with my, um, um, with, uh, with my right hand. Let's see if I try chicken and chickpea on the ground. Fruit. Oh, he went right for the fruit, right for the peas. Okay, so he likes that one. I've got tofu and kidney beans. I'll let him choose which one. Just wait. Okay. He's going for the kidney bean. <laughs> well, let's try kidney bean versus pea. Just wait. You'd also have somebody hold your dog. Can you see both of them? Free. Oh, he's going for the pea. He likes his peas. Now, right, let's try some meats. I've got chicken. And I've got some pork. And I'm going to put them both down. Wait. Free. He's going for chicken over the pork. Mm, this will be interesting. Fish versus beef liver. He's going for the fish. It's stinky. They go for it. He also really likes uh, sardines, so I'm not surprised. So what we could do is play around with this and see if we can come up with our top five that our dogs liked. And then um, when we were working with something that in a place that was very distracting, I would probably use one of my his top one or two. If I was working at home, I'd use something near five or lower. Uh, if it was something brand new he was learning, I'd even learn use something higher up in the hierarchy. And if it was something that he's done quite a few times and he's mastered pretty well and it's just something to maintain it, I might use something lower value. Thanks so much.